Today I'm going to be doing a simple glowy makeup look using products that I have been loving. Some are old, some are new. Let's start. Hi, my name is Jami. I love sharing my thoughts on makeup, skincare, all things beauty, a little bit of food, and a little bit of fashion. So if you're into that, click the subscribe button. It may be summer and it's super hot right now, but as somebody who has dry skin, look at my skin. You can see some dry patches. So um, let's start with moisturizer. During the summer, I love using a gel-based moisturizer. This is the Senny's Face Dream Cream. I love this product. I've had it for a while now. And I also use this during like the colder months. It also works well, can moisturize. It keeps my skin feeling moisturized. But I especially love this during the summer. Just feels super light on my skin. Keeps my skin feeling moisturized for a long time. So I love that. I mean, the packaging is super aesthetic. And this is refillable. So if, it, if you ran out of it, you don't have to buy the tub. You can just get a refill um, of it. And it's cheaper. You get to save the environment love the idea so that's how the consistency looks like taking a little bit of the product and massaging it all over my face instantly you can see my face looks more alive normally i would apply my skincare immediately after i shower like even uh, when my face is still a little bit wet so that's a good tip look at my skin already feeling very happy very moisturized and still going in with Sunny's, I'm using their Lip Treat in Jellyfish for my lips just to moisturize it a little bit because it's feeling kind of dry. I've already done my eyebrows out of time because I want to do a separate video of my eyebrow routine. So now let's go in with Sunscreen. My sister loves this brand, Face Republic. And I, sometimes I like trying out their products also from her. So this is the Purity Sun Essence. It's extra lightweight without white gas. I haven't tried it out, so this is also my first time trying it. Oh, it's kind of thick. It looks really opaque. I'm blending it out. I know everybody hears this from like everyone who posts a skincare routine on the internet. Like, always wear sunscreen every day. Reapply sunscreen. Um, don't forget your neck. But you seldom hear people talking about the why. Like, why should I apply sunscreen every day? Why should I reapply it if I'm like, if I'm like directly under the sun? Reversing sun damage with products are very hard. It's near to impossible. I'm not saying it's impossible, okay? Anything is possible. But all I'm saying is it will not be like a one-time thing like you apply a cream a magic cream and like all the damage the sun has made on your skin will disappear no it does not it takes a regimen it takes procedures but preventing sun damage is and how do you prevent sun damage sunscreen so next question would be what's the best sunscreen or what sunscreen should i buy a lot of factors play into that like it's a personal choice depends on your budget on your skin type, on your preference, on a lot of things. There's a lot of videos on YouTube by dermatologists talking about sunscreen, um, how to pick the right one. So, you know, do a little research on YouTube if you're looking for a good sunscreen and try to like list down all the factors. And then from there, you streamline to a sunscreen that's easily available to you. And that's it. Wow, that is a lot of talk about sunscreen. But one thing about me is, I love skincare. I loved skincare way before I delved into makeup, but then I don't really talk about it because I feel like skincare is a very personal journey. I don't want to be like recommending a lot of products and then I know that it doesn't work for everyone. So there's a lot of factors. We all have different skin types, different preferences. So I'd rather give tips um like what to look for in a product or you know things like that i was sidetracked a lot but anyways going back to the sunscreen so it says to be lightweight and it really is it felt like a moisturizer when i was like blending it on my skin my current favorite sunscreen i've been using it for almost six months is the round lab sunscreen but then this isn't like readily available here in the philippines so i don't know i'll try this out more and then i'll update you guys if this is a good um replacement for my favorite round lab sunscreen now going into my base i'm using this fit me fresh tint from maybelline i'm in the shade 07 and um. oops the 
this one from Maybelline says it has a soft matte look with instant gradients and yeah i do agree i've also been applying all my makeup with brushes because i got myself a lot of affordable brushes from ovw brush this is their foundation brush it's very dense and it's just it looks super cute and this was like less than 150 pesos so super affordable so i just i've been enjoying using this to apply my makeup it blends out very easily and again i'm in the shade uh 07 look how it even at my skin tone it does have a radiant finish feels lightweight i know you could build it up more if you want more coverage but for someone like me who just wants a light base this is perfect and now for concealer i'm using my favorite nars radiant creamy concealer in the shade ginger i this was my first ever concealer and i have been using this for over seven years now i love it it's very reliable and i've never really found the need to try out the other concealers so i'm just adding the tiniest bit on my under eyes just in this area and then i'm blending it out again with this concealer brush from ovw so they're like a matchy set super cute with the foundation brush just doing little tapping motions to blend it out now since i'm very happy with my skin tone like i'm very bronzy right now i will skip the bronzer and go into blush i have so many blushes right now i don't know what i should use today currently i have two favorite local liquid blushes I have here from Lovey Cosmetics their liquid flush blush in Tell Me More and the Clash Flame what's this? Uh, All Around Flush 2.0 in Cameo. Their colors are super similar and they also have like the same finish. You know what? I'll do each cheek so you guys could see um, the difference. And then I'll blend it with another OVW brush. This came in a set of three and it was only 130 pesos for three brushes so it's a flat buffing brush perfect for blending a blush let's do this side with lovely cosmetics i love this blush formula it's super pretty it has a radiant glowy finish and it's just super easy to blend it's so beautiful look how pretty that shade is on my skin tone super super pretty and then this one from Clash Flame, their new reformulated. It has a velvety formula, but then also has a radiant finish. And I love to put like whatever left on my brush on my nose bridge. Very pretty shade, very natural for Morena skin tone. I love corally shades for my skin tone. It just complements it very well. It's like how we naturally flush. Now, what else am I gonna do? Mm, ah, mascara. For mascara, I'm gonna be using the Sky High Mascara from Maybelline. I love the wand of this. The bristles are very short. And you can really get into the corners and control how much product you, you apply. Who else loves to like apply their mascara in this angle? I just like to see every hair coated with mascara. Mascara done. I love mascara. Just love how it changes up your look. Now we're on to lips and i currently have this favorite lipstick it's the dior attic lipstick in the shade 524 d red it's um i could say it's like a corally with little hints of brown and i just love this lipstick formula it has a glossy finish but it's very pigmented feels like nothing on the lips but look at the color payoff and look at the color again this is the dior attic lipstick in five to four dior 
Now to set my face, I don't really like using the powder, but if I do, I'd go for the Dior Backstage Powder No Powder. I'm in the shade 2N. Um, I'll apply a little bit so you guys can see. Uh, I just apply the tiniest bit here on the center of my face and it just has the most beautiful natural finish it has a radiant finish but it doesn't have like shimmers in it which i like so oh my god oh my god what the f happened i it's the glue it freaking oh my god. heart attack i think it's because of the heat it's been so hot and my makeup has been feeling it <laughs> oh my god Dior please help me maybe you guys could like send me a new one I don't know. <laughs> anyways that's it I'm done with my look this is my very simple everyday look I hope you guys like the video we covered a lot in that video so if you guys had fun don't forget to like, subscribe, and even leave a comment down below. Bye!